Corvina configuration must begin in JMobile Studio, in the Corvina interface. Here the interface must be enabled by checking the selection at the top. Next, the tags or tag groups that will be sent to Corvina must be selected. The same can be done for alarms or alarm groups. Tags can be configured in the Tags page. Here you can specify tags and groups. The same applies for the alarms in the Alarms page. All other configuration parameters can either be entered here or their values can be linked to tags so that the configuration can be set at runtime instead. Tags that are linked here must use retentive memory so that their values are not lost in case the device is powered down. The activation key is used to link the physical device to the corresponding device in the cloud. It is unique to each device. The tag interface fields contain various parameters related to communication between the physical device and the cloud. Enable Corvina interface is a field that allows for communication between JMobile runtime and the cloud to be enabled when it is a 1 or disabled when it is a 0 at runtime. The reset parameter will reset any communication in progress between the device and the cloud when its value is written to anything other than 0. Device ID is a read-only parameter that can be used to show the Corvina ID of the device in JMobile runtime. Uptime is another read-only parameter that shows the active time of the connection to the cloud in seconds. Status shows the communication status between the device and the cloud, 0 for disconnected, 1 for connected, 2 for connecting, and 3 for disconnecting. Byte sent is the amount of bytes sent from the device to Corvina and byte received is the amount of bytes received by the device from Corvina. Finally, cached messages and cached size show the number of messages and the amount of bytes cached in the local buffer. The local buffer can also be configured which define the maximum pending messages and maximum disk usage. The maximum pending messages shows the number of IoT messages stored in the local buffer and the maximum disk usage is the maximum amount of memory used to store these messages. Whenever either of these numbers are exceeded, the buffer will remove messages as needed starting with the oldest message. The persistence field can be set to choose whether the RAM or the internal memory should be used. Log level is a read-write parameter that allows for one of four different levels of logging to be selected, zero error, one warning, two info, or three debug. Corvina endpoint is the endpoint that the device uses to connect to Corvina. By default, the global instance of Corvina is entered already, but it may need to be changed if using platform as a service. In the next chapter, we will learn about the device activation process.